and this is what my hair looks like right now that's my mom's hair back there <laughs> um this is my hair i uh fell asleep last night and didn't put a bonnet or anything on it so i feel bad i feel bad if i don't wear my bonnet because i feel like i'm like abusing my hair but this is what it looks like after three weeks of not washing it um oh i don't think it looks that bad I haven't done anything to it today so the first thing I do is uh, get my water bottle so this is what I start out with first and this is just my water bottle um, and I actually put tea tree in here because uh in all honesty i just put water in it before which i haven't done in a long time usually i'll put like water a teeny little bit of like that conditioner this aussie conditioner in it and um some kind of oil so i just shake it up every day and spray it on my hair to style it and then go um but when i got this bottle i put just water in it and it smelled like mildewy and it was from the water and I've never had that before so this time like I cleaned it out and then I put more water in it but I put tea tree in it to get rid of any kind of if there was going to be any kind of mildew or anything growing in it so with this I just spray it I dampen on my hair And actually, tea tree, if you've never smelled it before, it has kind of a medicinal scent, which I didn't like at first, but now, since I've been using it for years, I, um, getting used to it. It's like an earthy medicinal scent that if you have never smelled it before you'll be like I don't know it might be off-putting and then I just like massage it into my hair to make sure I get down just make sure my roots get uh, moisturized which with all that water it did not my roots are still a little dry so I'm gonna go in and just pick up around my crown on my hair and focus the water there and then go back in and massage it again into my hair yeah i went to the gym yesterday and i hadn't been to the gym i think i stopped going to the gym after uh me and my family did a 5k that was in August I stopped going to the gym and I was just going to the park and doing mostly like cardio like walking and running and stuff and then when it started to when we had the time difference and it started getting dark it was still dark in the mornings I stopped going because the way the park is set up there's like a whole uh, tree line of big trees beside the neighborhood so like they don't get bothered by what's going on at the park because they sometimes have football and soccer games and baseball games and stuff there um, so they don't get bothered by the noise but it's dark now and if somebody is there they can come out and kill you if they felt like it and nobody would see you because the way the park's set up uh, set up if you walk around you go down this hill and nobody can see you they'll see like there's a car there but they won't see you again until you come back on the other side past the trees 
um, in past, like there's like a fire department over there too. Uh, but nobody would see you if you, if something were to happen to you. So I stopped going. I was running downstairs on my treadmill and I stopped doing that. And I was like a bum just eating shit, eating whatever I wanted. And I had lost some weight and gained it back from not being a consistent queen, which is my own fault. All right. So I like to make sure that is a good, my hair feels nice and moisturized and like soft. And then I like to spray the rice water. I'm not going to do it in here because if you use rice water, you know, like you have to let it ferment. And when it gets to the ferment, uh, fermenting process, it smells so bad. So I don't like to spray it anywhere where there's um, cloth or material or anything like that. So I'm going to go in the bathroom and I'm going to spray it just like how I spray um, the uh, water but I like to make sure my hair is damp and then I section it as well when I do that. So I will be right back. All right, so we're in the bathroom and I got my rice water and I'm just gonna mix it up. Zip up. <laughs> I did arms at the gym, so my shit is tired. <laughs> oh my gosh. And I like to make sure, because my hair kind of like blooms out like a mushroom, I got to lift it up. Make sure I get my edges. But the thing I have heard about uh, rice water, but I have, it's not happened to me before, is if you leave it on your hair for too long, uh, like a protein treatment, it will break your hair off. I have not found that to be the case for me, which means my hair is probably not protein sensitive, though I think my hair does tend to have low, por low porosity. So that might be why, because it takes a while for it to even absorb into my hair and why I like to, when I put products and stuff into my hair, why I like to like massage it, my scalp, and my hair. So I like, like grab some and just like squeeze it to kind of, I feel like, it might not be true, I feel like I'm forcing my hair to absorb it. And that's all done. I just take my clips and part my hair. I do not uh, more like section my hair because I don't part my hair. Uh, usually I'll part the front because I try to keep my part in the same area. I just take it, twist it up, Four. I have two in the front, one in the middle, and then one in the back. You can see that. And I said I was gonna uh, detangle first, but I lied. And I think because I just I kind of go how I feel, how my hair is feeling, how I'm feeling. Also, 
I will go because sometimes I'll put everything in, put the detang or detangler, put the deep conditioner in, let it sit, and then wash my hair, condition, detangle, then put my products in. I think that's the route that I'm gonna go today. So one sec, I'll be right back. All right, and I'm gonna be using this. Where is the camera? Deep conditioner. Uh, if you follow me on Instagram, you'll see I posted, I just finished one up. And this one, surprise, surprise, this one is Tea Tree uh, Enfreshment. It's a refreshing mask with tea tree enfreshment oils. And it's by Harbor Natural Cosmetics. My mom picked this up at Marshalls or TJ Maxx where they have like all of their hair care products and stuff on sale. And it was only $2.99 for this huge thing. And it is 16.9 fluid ounces. But my hair, I use a lot of deep conditioner. So I'll probably be buying another one in a little bit because this is the last of it. And I just go back in to each section and apply like a handful. Like I get like this much. Which is probably too much. And I just apply it down the my hair and on mostly on the ends. I try not to put so much towards the root because there's new hair growth there. And that part of your hair usually doesn't need to be moisturized as much as the part with length. So, just that little handful. You can tell my hair absorbed it pretty well. Christmas color realness. And all right, so we got that. Let me go get my uh, plastic bag. We're serving Walmart plastic bag grocery. Walmart plastic grocery bag. Aesthetics. <laughs> push all the air out and pull my ears out because uh, sometimes that shit hurts. Right, so this is what it looks like when it's set up. like to use the heat since I have low porosity here because I feel like my hair better absorbs it 
So I'm about to sit under here and listen to, uh, finish listening to uh, Pierre XO. He's uh, doing like a live with his friend. I like I agree with a lot of stuff he talks about, so I like to listen to him or watch him. He's I think he's attractive in a sexual sexually feminine look. Like he has the aesthetic that he's kind of feminine, but he's masculine, and I think that's attractive. Anyways, I'm gonna sit under the dryer and listen to him for the next twenty minutes. <laughs> 